What is going on guys? We are back with another video in our Titans Online user franchise and it's one of the more fun times of the year because A, we got the playoffs coming up, obviously. What are you crazy? And then B, we have the awards, the stats, the Pro Bowls. Obviously we can look at that, but it's a little more annoying, but we can look at the Pro Bowl. And that's about of that. If you're excited like I am, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jump you care. I, you know, it doesn't matter what league we're in. The sellout's gonna be there. All right. So first things first. Let's take. Well, first things really first. Let's take a look at the division. Uh, well, the standings in general. The Ravens at number one. We did lose to them. It was an unfortunate loss. We were technically the. Th I'd say third best because obviously you have to count the number one team in the NFC. Second best in wins, though. Uh, of course, we just beat Lance and the Vikings. Some decent teams. Uh, I think the NFC as a whole has better record, I think. But the top half of the AFC is, is filled with a lot of really hard teams to beat. The Bengals are projected the number one overall pick, I believe. How do they decide this? Road wins, maybe? I, thought, I think it goes overall wins, divisional wins... Then does it go head-to-head -head matchup and then by similar games? I don't know how the hell EA, like, the fact that EA would even code that into the game. But first glance, you would probably say that the Bengals did worse, right? Because they don't have a single road win and road wins are harder. I don't know. But I don't know there's a chance because, in my opinion, the Bengals played worse. They gave up. Well, actually, that would mean, yeah. <laughs> it, it might go for points for, I don't care. Who cares? Honestly, who who the hell cares? That is what it looks like. You want to let's take a look, better look at this. Here's the AFC. Jets made this the playoffs at eight and eight. It was better than what it could have been. At one point, it was like five and six or something. It's like okay, okay, dude. Uh, let's see at the look at the NFC side. Like I said, you know, better overall record, but when you look at you know compared to the users, I think the AFC is a little bit harder, especially when you have to face Lamar Jackson and the speed there. Uh, right, so. Let's take a look at the stats now. Of course, we'll leave Wards last. Mariota went off yet again. Was it better than last year, though? Like, touchdowns were better, but were we more efficient? So, oh, definitely better because we threw 12 picks exactly both times. A little bit better in the pass rating, a little bit better in the yards, and then a ton better in the touchdowns. Took a slight bit less of sacks. The fact that we, like, we're so consistent. I mean, look at this. Only one less completion percentage, yards per attempt, similar, yards per game, slightly better, attempts, four different attempts, four le uh, more, with one less completion, that's that's crazy, isn't that, like, that's that's actually pretty insane, rushing-wise, I mean, pretty damn close, we're a little more efficient, I think it's because we won by more, so we had less actual kneel-downs with Mariota, we really don't run much with him, like, we're... Like, imagine we actually did start cheesing with him. Not that he's super easy to cheese with, but eight fumbles last year, five this year. Two of ours came from the same game this year, I believe. It was early on, actually. Is it week three? Week two? I don't even remember. But that's the passing. Now, maybe close your eyes for the rushing. Ronald Jones obviously hurt for quite a bit. He was pretty much hurt for seven games. He played 10, but no, less than that. He was, he was probably hurt for literally eight games because obviously the last game... That he played well. One of the games he played, he got hurt throughout the majority, and then obviously the injury one. I think was halfway through the game. So 622 yards, 6.1 yards per carry, and two touchdowns is kind of gross. He didn't fumble though. He broke 20 tackles. Uh, longest run was 50. How the hell did Balaj and Deion Lewis have those bigger runs? I don't know. Jalen Hurd, of course, he got hurt for a while too. But obviously, we're now finally healthy. We combined for a total of. Four, six, ten rushing touchdowns. Thirteen if you want to count Mariota. Had eight fumbles. Only three if you don't want to count Mariota. And then uh, rushing-wise, I mean, how many yards is that? 600, 800, 1,400, 1,600 if you want to count, count Marcus. Now here's receiving Batson. I'm going to spoil it for myself. Did he make the Pro Bowl? No! He didn't make the Pro Bowl. That sucks. Did Corey Davis make the Pro Bowl? Probably not. Does I don't really care if he does or not, to be fair. Wait, Pro Bowl appearance? Maybe, maybe he did, and I'm just blind. Damn it. How the hell did Corey Davis make the Pro Bowl? He was worse, technically. Damn, man. Okay, maybe it does matter. Oh, well. Johnny Smith. Pro Bowl. Pro Excuse me? Pro Bowl? 
862 yards, 9 touchdowns. He actually finished with a better season than I thought he did. If he somehow went to superstar, that would be the most OP, cheese, undeserved thing in the history of things. But, hey, hey I ain't going to complain. I'll tell you what. So, obviously, Ronald wouldn't have made the Pro Bowl. But maybe maybe the voters just liked his name. You know, he's he's kind of a legend. Ah, right? oh, damn it. Blocking. Uh, this is the offensive line. How many of our guys made the Pro Bowl? Imagine. Okay, Conklin didn't, in fairness. He probably didn't deserve to. He kind of was trash. Uh, progression, five. Pro really, Taylor Lewan? Really? People don't even use a great pass rusher. That Ali Marpit deserves it. I was going to say how, but he, he deserves it. Obviously not Nate. Saffold, I think, may have made it as well, though. No, he didn't. All right, who cares? All right, defensively, Gilbert, probably no chance at a Pro Bowl, right? No, he did not. Jam Brown, doubt it, but you never know. I think he goes by overall as well. Let's take a look. Actually, we shouldn't even be doing this now. This is so, like, crappy. So, sack totals. Harold Landry with 22 and 22. Maybe I will do it. Maybe I'm a little... Oh, he made the Pro Bowl. Okay, you might think, oh, wow, well, shocking. A 22 sack player made the Pro Bowl. But I think there was three guys ahead of him. I didn't know that they brought four. Does it not matter? Do they maybe just put... Oh, I didn't really think about some people are left end, some are right end. We might have made the Pro Bowl simply based on having a different position. Sack totals outside of Harold were very bad, though. You know, Justin, uh, Justin, Jeffrey Simmons, I believe, had, how many was it? It was at least 10 last year, right? Was it at least 10? 10 sacks last year, a bit of a drop in production, 20 less tackles, 3 less sacks, a couple less tackles for a loss. You know, not as good of a season at all. You know, Cameron Wake, he really opened the door for a lot of these players. Uh, Aaron Lynch, absolute disgusting disappointment. If we can find a pass rusher, we're probably going to go for one. Maybe move Aaron Lynch to DT because, once again, we don't know Jarrell Casey's future. He's a great player. Once again, took a dip as well, but he's still a great player. We may remove him as a captain, though. 10.5 last year, 6 this year. Tackles are similar, though, so at least there's some sort of consistency. Pick totals. Adoree Jackson. Did he make the Pro Bowl? Obviously, did. What, what are you guys crazy? I believe this is now 24 picks in two years. It is very consistent. One and a half extra sacks, more yards per uh, return, and two touchdowns this year. So there's a chance he goes up to superstar, which would be absolutely insane. That's the biggest dev up we could get. And I would say besides Mariota, but honestly, it's going to be very hard to get his overall up even close to a 90 anyways. Amani Hooker. Pro Bowl, okay. I mean, that's kind of glad. We do have some upgrades as well. Of course, Acrobat, such a legend. Absolutely legendary. 12 picks. What a season. Absolutely great season. Gilbert with 8. Bayard with 8. Jonathan Jones with 6. Jayon with 3. Tony with 2. Cruikshank with 2. Butler and Michael Davis with 1 each. Kicking Jake Elliott. 100% on the extra points. And the worst part is... His only miss was my fault. It's it's so brutal. It wasn't a decision making. It was just bad. It just happened. But here is the full stats for passing. Daniel Jones with 5,200 yards, 30 touch, 38 touchdowns, 27 picks. Pretty damn good for you know a normal guy with probably like a 73, 74 overall. Uh, he's looking okay now though. He's looking decent. Let's take a look at who has the longest pass. Dak Prescott threw a 100-yarder. Derek, what the hell kind of cheating are you doing? Sack totals, the most goes to Drew Locke. We probably had a decent bit. Oh, when you compare it to everyone else, it's not terrible. We did all right. Did all right for ourselves. Who had the least of the actual players that count? Uh, I suppose Tom Brady is the closest. 23 sacks. Patrick Mahomes, Rodgers, and them. Not bad. Back to the yards, that's all that matters. A couple of, a decent bit of 4,000 yarders. Well, I'd honestly expect more. You almost you almost see more than that in real life. Usually you see about 7 or 8 now. I mean, that's pretty shocking. Lamar Jackson with an amazing season as well. Anyone else? I'm just quickly going to glance through. No crazy numbers lower than this. 47 lads. Can we, like, not? Most touchdowns goes to Mariota with 53. I really didn't even intend to throw that many. It's just that AI threw, like, 4 in sim. And I was like, okay, if he's going to throw four and sim, I at the least get to 50, right? And then, of course, we ended up in a bit of a shootout. Uh, pick totals, Herbert, 49, lads. Could we, could we not? Could we not? Could we not? So the lowest completion percentage of the true eligible players is Justin Herbert with 54%. Derek Dak is a decent quarterback. He should not be throwing 54%. 
83 overall. I mean, he's a great quarterback, just a little bit weak for my liking. Uh, best passer rating goes to Lamar Jackson, then Mariota, then Cam, who, uh, you know, always has a sneaky little season. Joe Burrow, a couple of other guys. The lowest percentage of a guy that I think, wow, 58 point, really, mate? Are you for real? I'm, I'm disappointed. So the most yards to go is to our man, Breida. Obviously, he's not our man, but I, I'm happy to see Breida succeed as always. It doesn't matter. Read it with 1879. Last year we had about 20 people with a thousand. This year we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen guys, but a lot of them are in the lower cali you know, caliber. I think we did a really good job of lowering the run blocking sliders. If anything, maybe add up to two. So 40 run block sliders in a user league for us works so if you're in a user league maybe suggest that if you're getting too many crazy yards uh what else do we have lamar jackson didn't get to his thousand yards but still that's ridiculous what else do we have Brita with 10.2 that's ridiculous i mean that's more impressive than ronald jones like ronald jones had 10.7 i think but those were on 50 sliders and you know people were gashing people but jesus most fumbles goes to a lot of quarterbacks of course that's that's usually how it's gonna work now receiving there's a lot of names that are very high on the list Chark, Stephon Diggs, Tyreek Hill. We had a couple of guys up there as well. Uh, Marquise Brown with 18 touchdowns, 13.50. Miles Boykin with 12.90.17. Corey Davis, 12.60.13. Uh, I don't know how the hell... Uh, what's his name? Corey Davis made the Pro Bowl. I don't even think he was higher than Batson in the award just for touchdowns. I wish I could switch them. If I could be like, hey, sorry, pal. You're already a beast, Corey Davis. I'm sorry. Ooh, look at some of the guys just barely reaching over that 1,000-yard mark. Let's see other guys that are just below it. Most touchdowns goes to, once again, Diggs, Brown. A couple of guys there. Blocking. Who gave up the most sacks? Our guys could be up there. Maybe not. Donovan Smith, Braden. Really, Braden Smith. He's like in the 80s. He's a very good player. That's kind of shocking. Trent Brown, that's a bit shocking too. Tyron Smith, that's shocking. Some decent names giving up a lot of sacks, but I guess that's kind of how it goes. Defensively, most sacks goes to J.J. Watt, who smashed the record. Miles Garrett, of course, you, you know, pretty much allowed to since the record was 27. Aaron Donald at 25. Vaughn at 24 and a half. Joey at 24. Fletcher Cox at 22. Landry, of all the names, is the biggest shocker so far. Brian Burns, one of those shockers as well. Chubb, you know, he already played well. There's some interesting names there for sure. Interesting names indeed. Let's take a look at tackles for a loss now. Gary Johnson killed it with 39. 119 tackles, 7 picks. That should be a dev up, right? What's his dev right now? Oh, normal, that's kind of brutal. There are decent tackles for a loss for some of these fellas. Let's see, most tackles, probably Gary, right? Gary Johnson. And then the, the, the Devons back at it again. Less, uh, you know, turnover kind of plays, I feel. But still, pretty impressive stuff as usual. Let's take a look at picks, though. Interceptions. Patrick Peterson with 16. Of course, Sherman was also on that list. I think he had 16, 15 or 16, but he may have retired, or maybe it's just not showing him up. I don't know. I don't think we retire retired yet. Adoree Jackson. Nice hooker. I don't know why he's not on the list, but yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. Kicking. Jake Elliott had the most field goals made. The accuracy goes to Vedvik. Uh, Tevecchio kind of counts. But Jake Elliott, uh, more impressive than Tavecchio, I think. So, Vedvik, best a NFC, and then Jake, the best AFC. And I'm still regretting that one kick. Longest kick goes to Matt Gay with a 64. Joey Sl uh, Sly with 63. I mean, it rhymed with Gay, so I wanted to say Slay so bad. The, the average punt, the best one, Matt Hack. Good job, Derek. Great at punting. H Agnew with 2,300 yards returning. That is a lot of yards I honestly thought Clyde was a QB. Just saying, I'm super smart. If Killens or Hubbard isn't in there, I'd be kind of crazy. I, I don't know what to tell you. So there's that. Now for the best, most fun part. Who cares about this? I don't care about team stats. Yearly awards. The MVP goes to Lamar Jackson once again. It was a close record in to terms of total yards and touchdowns. However, the game really values you as rushing yards for a QB. Don't think it's going to be very possible to ever win MVP with how good Lamar is. And yeah, I mean, I'm fine with it. It is what it is. Mariota with uh, you know number two. I'll take it. Burrito with number three. Makes sense. He was really good. 
uh, yards per play is insane. Now, this is the one I'd actually probably want more because, you know, coaching XP matters. And let's take a look now at the awards. Mar Jackson, number one. Mariota, number two. I don't know how much XP we're losing out on there, but it's it's a little frustrating, I suppose. A couple of Broncos players here. Dory, hello. How are you doing? Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Clyde's. What's his name? Hilaire. I don't know. Tua just barely missed. Hurts at number three. Zach Moss. I would have thought would have been better. I don't know what, what's going on there. What the hell is he doing? Maybe a scenario decided it for him. I don't know. Uh, defensive Rookie of the Year. A couple of Patriots. A lot of Patriots. Jesus. Did no one else draft a freaking player? I don't think any. Did no one else draft a damn rookie? Mariota, though, ironically, makes the best QB list over Lamar Jackson. Baker at number three. Phillip at four. Mahomes at five. A couple of names there running. Obviously, you're not going to see uh, a Titans player. We didn't really have a starter that season. Uh, receiving Tyreek Hill at number one. Marquise and Miles at number two and three. Cortland Sutton at four. Batson and Corey Davis at five and six, which is decently impressive, at least for Batson, because he's a low overall. I mean, you compare the overalls, He's by far the lowest. Uh, offensive line, lots of Ravens players. Also see our guys sneaking at the end, but it probably doesn't matter too much to be at the bottom of the list. Doesn't really get you anything. Number four on Harold Landry, which uh, I don't know what the positions are, but thank God we made the Pro Bowl because that kind of proves we almost got snubbed. Speaking of getting snubbed, Gilbert got snubbed simply for the fact that he's playing left outside linebacker. Is it left or right? One of the two. And obviously he would have been the best, you know, the second best middle linebacker. Or maybe not. Mosley's there anyways. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Never mind. Uh, Padre Peterson, best DB. We had a Dory at number three. Hooker at number five. Byard at number seven. And then best kicker goes to Jake Elliott, which is clutch. Because I believe our, we are implementing a uh, kind of scenario thing where you're going to get a dev up if you win best kicker or punter. And then if you have the Pro Bowl punter for either side. Here's... The quick stats for the NFC side, obviously I'm a little less invested because we're not going to play those guys very often. But here they, you know, going over them really quickly. Got a couple of rookies sneaking in there for actual award wins. Joe Burrow, that's a big one, over Jonathan Taylor. Jordan Love was sneaking in there as well. It's a, it's a lot of rookies in the rookie thing. <laughs> Woodward, Lance, uh, you know, cleared the NFC awards. Gets the best QB. They let a rookie QB get best QB over there. What the hell is going on? I wish we played in the NFC with Mariota. We'd, we'd snap that award set. Let's see, O-line, Cowboys with a bunch of guys. How the hell is Tyron up there if he was so bad? This is favoritism, I'm telling you. It's favoritism. Gary Johnson, best linebacker. Hassan Reddick, not far behind. DB. Niners with a few guys, you know, kind of similar to us. We didn't win the number one award, though. And then Vedvik, like we expected, wins the award. So we're going to quickly go because I'm, you know, I'm a little bit slow here. Please block. Okay, we didn't get a block yet, but I will take that. That might only be the second speed upgrade we've gotten in this entire freaking Titan series. Of course, he made his money this year by, you know, getting picks. So we're going to keep going in zone coverage for a little bit more, I think. And I'll take a plus two to zone. I would like a speed upgrade for him. You know, if he gets to 90, that'd be kind of clutch. Nate Davis, an upgrade for him. He's actually working his way up there to becoming valuable. Not yet, but valuable enough. Because he's so bad at everything, we're just going to keep him in the scheme fit so he gets better XP. I mean, I'll take pass blocking. That's probably the number one I want. Got a couple more upgrades. One of them being Gilbert who still doesn't have his ability because he's not an 80 overall. Ratings, of course, this is going to be one of the guys that we use her the most. And, of course, we got a speed upgrade from Run Stopper, so why not keep going for it? Ooh, five. I like a five. Okay, acceleration, block shed, play rack, pursuit, and tackling. Didn't really look too great there. Uh, we get a deep route, a medium route, short route. I'll take those. Pass block power is terrible. And then a three catching, which moves him up to 86. Not a great update upgrade for a guy that's just not going to get a whole lot of upgrade points. Pro Bowler, my boy. Excuse me. I will take that any day of the week. All right, so we had a lot of Pro Bowlers. This was a good one. This might have been a little bit longer than I wanted to, but if you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like and subscribe. You know, we obviously want to show pretty much every single team, see what they were kind of doing. And yeah, hopefully we have a little bit better of a push in the playoffs this year. Divisional, I think, could 
we'll see. We got maybe we got a little bit of spoilers here. Could be against. I don't know who it would be against. Mike, maybe, maybe the Chiefs. So you have the Browns and Chiefs winning. Who is the lowest out of those teams? I guess that we do play the Chiefs. I probably would rather play Micah and the Browns just because they don't have a escape artist QB. But it is what it is, you know. So the next game will be the divisional against the Chiefs at home. Should be a fun one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.